positive turn in. And look how the battle for third and fourth ran in so deep. And Jehan de Ruvela will just hang on to third. But will he nearly three or four abreast with a couple of the Tech One races? And the driver who could benefit in all of this is Dorian Boccalanci. He started ninth, he's fallen down to sixth. Marcus Armstrong is the is the jam in the sandwich, if you will, and the Kiwi has now just about moved into fourth place. Yes, he has. One of the Tech One racers had to back off behind. That was Hugo de Sadelier. And then over round, losing his nose, number nine. Is that his championship run? That is Dorian Boccalacci. Unfortunate contact. Oh, it's not been a dream weekend for him. Great news from Max Deforni, great news for Jehan de Ruvela, but unfortunately, contact coming out of turn four. Marcus Armstrong had just moved up into fourth place and then having tucked away we can go safety again. Here's a replay. Down the inside of that uh, orange and black car sandwich is the white car of Marcus Armstrong, right under the rear wing of Jehan de Ruvela. Bokalac is on the far side of the circuit in sixth. Armstrong has claimed fifth place, but Bokalacci ran wide and then he spanned and he came across and collected absolutely innocent bystander Ferdinand Habsburg. Sends the young Austrian spinning off his own car with uh, the, the front plane. You can see how much debris, debris was scattered as basically the front wing folded under the car and then was flipped out of the back. That's a lot of sharp material that is being cleared up. Ferdinand